Is your phone ever on in your pocket? My phone will be taking pictures in my pocket, doing math equations. I was just on Hoodie Allen's TikTok, it's writing who knows what with my butt. I got dangly star earrings in my car that I think I made from other earrings. I got gummy bear earrings in here. <laughs> okay, we're starting a new thing. I think this might be a series. I'm sure someone else has done this. I'm sure it's not new, it's not groundbreaking. Do you know when you like go to a drive-thru and you just, you know, you're, you, some people know the numbers of the items on the menu. They're like, oh, it's a number four without the cheese, extra fry. They know. So I'll still look at a whole menu and be like, oh, you know, never, never tried that. I always get those. Those used to be my thing when I was a little. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like most people who go to drive-thrus know what they want right off the bat, which is great. But do you ever look at a menu and you look at certain items and you're like, I would never order that. Like for me, McDonald's, I personally would never get the filet fish I can't imagine getting fish from McDonald's, but I want to start a series where I order the things I would never order off of a menu. Just to try them, just to see, just to try them. Maybe I like them, maybe I could just confirm that I'm right, the filet of fish it's not my thing. Isn't it just a fish patty with a chip cheese on it? Honestly, sounds disgusting, but I know some of you like them. So, today, we're doing Taco Bell, because I usually get Taco Bell, like, once a week. When I work my day job, the long hours, I get out at one and I'm starving, because I eat ate breakfast at, like, 5.30. So I usually run through the Taco Bell on my way home. I always order the same three things, and I'm gonna try something new. I went in to Taco Bell's menu and took screenshots of the things I want to get just so I'm not sitting at the menu for the longest time. The only thing I'm concerned about or confused about is the sauces. There's hot sauces. There's like a mild and then there's a really hot. Isn't there like two in between? I'm not sure what hot sauces to get. I think I'm gonna have to ask and they're gonna be like, have you never been here before? I'll be like, I've never gotten the sauce before. Cause I don't know who's putting sauce on the already sauced burritos. I would never. Not my thing. But I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's really dark. Come on, camera. I'm not going to my normal Taco Bell. I'm going to a different one because I ain't trying to embarrass myself. I think this might be the Taco Bell I went to when I did the order what the person in front of me got challenge. Good, how are you? Hi, can I do, do you guys have the spicy double steak grill? Or do you got, oh, uh, sorry, hold on. Can I just do like a steak? Can I do a Mexican three Doritos and then a cheesy and a cheesy? What's the red and purple freeze? Is that like a cherry berry something? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Do you have like hot sauce? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, cars and park. I got so nervous taking my card out of my wallet, I like skinned my thumb. First off, they're little f slushy freezes things. I like these. These are good. I don't like the typical Mountain Dew ones. I like, they have like a mango cream one. It's so good. I've never seen this one. She said it was new. It must be like a berry, pink, purple, something, something. My hair's on it. I just hate how much they go to the bottom already. Like it's already melted. Filming in a busy parking lot. There's gonna be a lot of people driving around. We gotta commit to the bit. It's really pretty. <laughs> Ooh, it tastes like a starburst. Mmm. If you mix the pink and red starburst together in your mouth. Oh, that's really good. Look at my mouth water. Okay, we got a lot of food. This one is a Doritos Locos Tacos, which Again, the stuff that I don't eat, I'm sure a lot of people eat. It's probably very regular for other people to eat this stuff. I never get their tacos. I never usually like hard shell tacos, but I'm just guessing this is like regular taco meat. Mmm. That's pretty good. Also, whenever I eat Taco Bell, I'm usually eating it on the way home, and I can't do like a two handed hard shell taco. I get why these come in a three pack, because they're kind of skinny. It's on my shirt. Wow. Okay, y'all get to look at that stain the rest of the video. How are people eating these? Like it's in this little like protective shell thing. It's not doing shit for me. So many. You can't be driving in like 12:30 traffic, two hands on a taco. No. I do like the Doritos, but it's not doing anything crazy for me. I like my Mexican food in the form of burritos, like wrapped. I keep looking over here to my left because there's like a couple. And I can't tell if they're like fighting or waiting for the bus. So I keep looking. I kind of want to put on my sunglasses. Mmm. And you just scoop it in your mouth with them. Would I order that again? Uh, yes. But I still like the burritos. I don't know why I've never gotten it. Probably because I knew what it would taste like. I knew it would taste like that. If this becomes a series, I hate that there's a stain on my shirt already. <laughs> if this becomes a series, we have to think of names. Because I was like, we could just do this with different drive throughs or like different, I don't know, experiences. It could be like a car wash. Like instead of getting like the normal car wash, I get like the master car wash and I see if I like it. I wanted you guys to help me think of a name. So I was thinking we could call it like the dark side of the menu or like the other side of the menu. I thought maybe we could call it, can I get a, like, can I get a number? And then dot, 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 like Taco Bell edition. There's one called, I put one down like called prove me wrong. Or I like this one, never have I ever. Never have I ever dot, 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 
at Taco Bell or at KFC or at McDonald's. Also, there's like a cleaner sign over here and the C's gone and the L's gone. So it just says, it just says the Le the Lears. I need my shirt cleaned at the Lears. Kind of like Sears, but we only clean stuff. We don't sell you the appliances to clean it. We just clean it for you. Okay, let's try the Mexican pizza. Big old square box. What in the hell? You're supposed to eat this with a fork or with your hands? I thought everything on this was on the inside. Even though a pizza, it would be on the outside. Okay, I can smell, what is the sauce? I can see the tomatoes, which I'm not a huge fan of, and I can smell the pizza sauce. I've never gotten this because I just, it doesn't look appealing to me. Nothing about it. Seasoned beef and refried beans. I also don't like refried beans. Between two Mexican pizza shells, pizza shells, with Mexican pizza sauce, three cheese blend, and something, something to cut off. There is a fork in here. I, I see it, and then every time I put my hand in the box to get it, I don't see, oh. Oh, why was that so much easier? Is that already open? Is it cut or I gotta cut it myself? Like, what is the deal here? Is it really cut or they just take a hammer right before they put it in the box and just smash it and hope it breaks into a bunch of pieces? I just, the whole inside of this is the refried beans. Everything else is on top. All I'm getting is beans and then this crunchy ass crust. It's like the cheese evaporates before it even gets to my mouth. And it tastes like a little bit like barbecue saucy. It's also just like making me thirsty. It's like gumming up my mouth. What is there meat? Oh, there is meat in here. Okay, the meat is completely overshadowed by the beans. Yeah, I'm trying to think like they should put like lettuce on here. I get that it has to be different than like a taco or burrito. They got to do something different. That's why it's the Mexican pizza, but like not my cup of tea. Don't care for it. I still got, I'm still picking the beans out of my teeth. This is good though. You can eat anything at Taco Bell and just wash it down with one of these freezes and it'll taste 10 times better. A cheese roll up. How much was this? Look how small this is. It's $1.29. That's the second time I've heard someone honked. This is like such a bad intersection. Oh yeah, cause people don't, aren't even looking at the lines. They're just driving where they want. Isn't that, I never have never ordered this because I, in my head, it's just a quesadilla rolled up. Is it a different type of cheese? Does it just taste that good? Am I gonna be blown away? Looks like they accidentally threw it in the trash and then put it back in my bag. <laughs> like it's just extra crumpled. Like it looks like it took a beating on the way out of the window. Okay, there was no cheese on that bite. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good. That was really, I could eat seven of those. Seven of those at a dollar twenty-nine. That's like seven times thirty-six nine. That would be another dollar plus another two plus like a quarter nine ten eleven something. That could be your whole meal. The cheese roll is the equivalent of like extra, getting like an extra biscuit at like KFC or like at a chicken place. This biscuit's not gonna change your life. It's not a crazy menu item. It's just there. It'll always be there. They're not gonna get rid of cheese rolls. There would be a riot. I'm sure. I'm sure kids get those a lot. Because mistaken me if I'm wrong. Mistaken me if I'm wrong. Prove me wrong. Or my mistake if I'm wrong. What, what am I trying to say? Mistake. What's up? People go like, mistake me if I'm wrong. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Excuse me if I'm making a mistake in my assumption that I don't think Taco Bell has a kid's menu necessarily. Because the kids are eating the cheese rolls. I obviously didn't look at the ingredients on the pizza close enough because I did not know it's going to be full of refried, refried green, beans. Refried beans. I hate them so much my mouth is allergic to saying it. So I think this is going to be a cheesy bean and rice burrito, which I would never get because I love a little bit of meat in my burritos. I love the rice though. They used to have like a chicken and rice burrito. Oh, why did they get rid of it? That was my favorite thing. Wait, is this the steak? Mm, I think this is the steak. Oh, excuse me, I'm wrong. This is um, a steak supreme burrito. I don't know what made it supreme. She said if I wanted it supreme, I said, yeah. This is good. It's just super saucy and not like a signature sauce. It's not their Chipotle ranch. It's not anything crazy. The sauce makes me think it's like, it's like droopy. It's like a droopy sauce. When that type of sauce gets on the lettuce and it makes like warm wilted lettuce, I'd rather like dip it in the sauce without whatever's on here. But let's try a hot sauce. The little thing on his hair says, I won't wait forever. <laughs> okay, how hot is hot? Am I gonna be on the toilet later just regretting this whole video? Do all the sauce, here, riddle me this, Taco Bell people, sauce eaters. Oh, the person who parked next to me came back. They came back, they're getting in their car, act normal. Oh yeah, let's open every single door in the car, take our time. Are all the sauces like the same main ingredients and then they just add like the level of spice? What's in here? Water, jalapeno, peppers, tomato paste, food starch, vinegar, chili peppers, spices, minced onion. Oh, she looked right at me. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the sauce. Why didn't I get a big freeze? She goes, you want the happy hour? Did you, I, I'll replay the footage. She goes, do you want the happy hour? You want the happy hour? What's that? Okay, anything else? She goes, okay. <laughs> it's the smaller one for a dollar. I want the big jumbo one. If all the sauces taste somewhat the same, that's disgusting. I don't like those. Okay, we'll try it on the burrito. I feel like I'm going through something right now. Is this what a breakup feels like? I feel like rejected by the food. I can already tell I'm not gonna feel good later. 
I just, it's all just a lot going on. Unfamiliar tastes that I'm used to getting from Taco Bell. And the steak is like, it's not even there. I don't know if like the steak pieces are just small. Like that's how big, you can't even see. I mean, that's about as good as I would think steak from a drive-thru would taste like. Part of my brain was like, that's not steak. That's not, <laughs> that ain't off any type of grill. If someone's back there boiling steak, just molding it like Play-Doh into the right shapes. It's just so many beans. When you... I'm being overly picky, but again, we're trying the things that I thought I would not like. So I am correct on some of these. Also, you know when you get a burrito, my only qualm, qualm? What was, what the, what's with the vocabulary today? My only qualm, that means like an argument, right? Things I don't like. My only qualm with burritos is when they wrap them, like one of the ingredients is all at the bottom. If I had guacamole, you wouldn't even taste the guacamole until the last three bites. And you're like, oh, that's, I, I did feel like they forgot something. All the beans were in the bottom of that burrito, as I discovered. I might just title this video, I hate beans. I hate refried beans. This has to be the cheese and bean burrito, which I'm already over. Oh, there's a worker walking out here. Watch him be like, you can't film your little mukbang show in the parking lot. I'll be like, really? Because half these people can't drive in the parking lot. I just throw up, I'm like, Whoa. I'm proving myself right, because people don't order the things that they don't think they would like on a menu, because now I'm gonna go home dissatisfied. Full, there's food in my stomach, but I didn't really enjoy most of it. This is a bean and rice burrito. I don't know if people smack their burritos on videos, and I never really got it, but th I, this one felt like it should, it needed to be smacked. It looks smackable. A little pinch. Ooh! <laughs> the rice and the sauce on this burrito is what they had in the chicken one that I loved. Get rid of the beans, put in the chicken. That's what I'm talking about. Unless you're vegetarian and vegan and all like the dietary restrictions. I get it, but I'm talking about like me personally. Look how much of this, the beans. I, I just don't like that. My order from Taco Bell as it stands right now has been a Crunchwrap Supreme. It's like a crunchy chicken burrito thing. The name of it is like seven words long. Or I get the chalupas. The chalupas with like the fluffy dough. Those are so good. And I think I'm sticking to it. I'll probably never get a cheese roll off again. And the tacos are decent. But then again, I would rather have those ingredients in a burrito. All right, that was it. That was the whole shebang, the mukbang, the mukbang, the mukbang, the Christine eating in her car in a grocery store parking lot. That was the whole thing. This is Never Have I Ever. Taco Bell edition. Let me know if you think this is a good idea for a series, what we should name it. I still vote for never have I ever dot 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 and then insert the restaurant's name. And then let me know other places I should go. And some places I've never been. So if that's the case, we'll do a first impressions edition or I'll just have you guys tell me things that you would never try on there. <laughs> I'll see you around. Bye. Is my tongue blue from the, it's a little blue from the berry free. Cause the pink and the purple eat the, make the blue. No, it doesn't. Red and purple make blue. No, red and blue make purple. Red and purple probably make a darker purple or, br or probably brown. Anyways, that's the color wheel with Christine. I just drove all the way home and I'm still upset about the beans. It, I just, it, it really locked in that I don't like refried beans. I ate too many beans. Now I gotta get out of these jeans. I got the toots. I just want to hoot that I hate refried beans.